Welcome back everyone, it's great to have you here. So in today's video, I'm going to cover the food that I take out on backpacking and hiking trips. And this is a really simple meal plan that you can quickly make and take out on any of your trips. It has a lot of nutrients in it, has a lot of calories in it, and it will keep you going from one night all the way up to 15 or 20 nights that I've stayed out with this meal plan. So I'm gonna go through all this stuff, and if you would like a quick reference so you can have a checklist of all these items and quickly buy them online, I have a PDF which I will link down below this video. So you can just click the link in the description, download the PDF, and there'll be links to all this different stuff. So let's first get started with the food. I pack the exact same food for every day of the trip, and then I just flavor it differently. So the first things that I have is a bag of almonds and dried fruit. So I'll just get different kinds of flavored almonds. I'll mix them into one of these small Ziploc bags, and then I'll fill it up for each day of the trip. I'll also put some other dried fruits in there like apricot, or these are uh, goji berries, or any other type of dried blueberry, stuff like that, whatever you feel like for the trip. So it's mostly almonds, but some dried fruit as well. And then I'll eat some of these in the morning, some of these during midday, and then some in the afternoon on the trail. The goal for hiking is you wanna constantly eat throughout the day instead of eating big meals all at once. So usually when I get up, I'll eat a handful of these, and then I'll take some supplements, which I'll go through here in a minute. And then from there on, I'll continue to eat small meals throughout the day and snacks to keep my energy up. So almonds is the first thing I eat in the morning. After that, I'm on the trail and moving. And while I'm on the trail and moving, I'm eating a few different things. Number one, I'll eat Cliff Bars. Now, Cliff Bars are around 250 calories. So usually I'm only eating half of these at once. I'll just keep it in my backpack pocket and then I'll eat half of it on the trail. Usually it's not good to eat over 150 calories at a time when you're on the move because your body will divert all of your hiking energy to processing that food instead. So you wanna eat every half an hour to an hour, around 100 to 150 calories can work really well. So I have two different Cliff Bars and I'll eat them four different times throughout the day whenever I start to feel hungry or whenever I start to feel my energy wane a little bit. Next thing I have is ramen noodles and I like the soy sauce kind. And then I mix them with this pre-made stuff that I make together at home. Now, this is just a wide variety of different ingredients. First of all, I have quinoa, and I pre-make this and then I dehydrate it in a dehydrator that I have. You can also buy dehydrated quinoa online. It's just really expensive, and I'm doing 100 to 150 nights out on the trail a year, so it's much cheaper for me to just dehydrate it. But you can buy this online if you want. I also have dehydrated mushrooms, and then I have dehydrated rice, and then I buy black bean flakes, and I buy mixed vegetables that are already dehydrated, and then I mix them all together and that's where you get all this stuff from. So it's got a lot of veggies in it. It's got a whole lot of nutrients as far as protein goes. And then what I do is I just keep them at my house in these big containers. And then before a trip, I'll fill a cup or one of these bags up for each day of the trip. So it's all itemized. So I'll mix half of this bag with half of the ramen for a late afternoon lunch. And then I'll do the same thing for dinner. And then I flavor them with this flavor that I'll cover here in a moment. So that's what I do for lunch and dinner. And then sometime throughout the day, I'll eat a third of a Cliff or a third of a Theo dark chocolate bar. And then I'll take a big scoop of peanut butter and I'll put that with the dark chocolate. A lot of times I'll just eat small bites of peanut butter around 100 calories or a spoonful while I'm on the trail too. It's really good fat energy. It gives you long lasting energy on the trail. And then I have olive oil. I mix this with the ramen and this when I make meals. So that's all great. I don't have any flavoring in here. So I flavor it for different meals that I wanna eat. So I bring all these different flavorings with me. Then I can choose what I feel like for that specific meal and I'm not locked into specific meals. That also allows me to pack all these at once and just duplicate them for each day of the trip. So I have curry powder, I have coconut milk powder, I have pink Himalayan sea salt, I have garlic powder, and I have black pepper. I mix those together with this, and I either make it in a jet boil, so this is just a camping stove jet boil. I don't bring any bowls or any extra stuff, I just bring a spoon and a jet boil. So you boil the water in this, you add this, you add this, let it sit for 20 minutes, and then mix it with the flavoring and the olive oil. 
I don't mix all these flavors for every meal. I kind of decide what I want the meal to taste like. So you can experiment around on your own. Like I said, PDF under this video, you guys can download it and all this stuff's in there. The other way to make food is called cold soaking. So on long trips where I don't want to carry fuel, I don't want to carry my jet boil, I'll just carry this container and you can just dump your dry food in here. And about two hours before you'll you want to eat it, you'll want to do this. And then you can just fill it with water and let it soak. And then it'll get soft. Now it won't be warm, but if you want to cut weight like I do on these really long trips, it's a great way to do it. If it's cold out, bring the jet boil. If it's in the middle of the summer and you want to do a long trip, cold soaking is the good way to go. All right. So the next thing I have is supplements. Now with anything you take backpacking, if you're going out more than two or three nights on the trail, you're going to start to lose a lot of the supplemental energy that you have from things like fresh greens that you would eat at home. So the first thing I take is greens powder. This is just a bunch of different greens combined and then dried into a powder form. So it gives you a large amount of nutrients in a small scoop. I take two scoops or servings of this each day. This is the number one thing. Get this if you're not gonna get this other stuff. Next, I take supplements. You could take these if you wanted. I take them because I'm doing really long trips, say eight, 10 days plus, and I'm doing high mileage every day, say 15 to 25 miles. So my body needs to operate at the maximum. I take B12 and D. I'm taking those in the morning with food. Next thing I have is electrolyte pills. These are just very small doses of electrolytes. I take one of these every hour on the trail. When you're drinking a lot of water and going through a lot of water, your body flushes out electrolytes and you need to replenish them. So these pills are great. Next thing I have is a multivitamin. I take a multivitamin each night after I've been on the trail all day with a scoop of the greens powder. That refills all the nutrients in my body while I sleep. It allows my muscles to recover and makes me feel good the next day. These are for emergency only. It's zinc and vitamin C, both in high doses. It's 100 milligrams of zinc and it is 500 milligrams of vitamin C. If I feel like I'm getting a cold, I will rest in my tent and I'll just take these every four to five hours for two or three days until I feel better and they've saved me in the past. Next, I have caffeine pills. I don't take caffeine pills all the time, but if you're in an emergency scenario and you need to extract yourself, you need to be alert and sometimes coffee's not gonna do it. These are 200 milligram caffeine pills and I keep them in my pack for emergency scenarios or if you're out in the desert and you're low on water to make coffee, these can be a great way to get an extra boost of energy. Last, I have coffee. This is just Anthony's Organic Instant Coffee. Just take a scoop of it. You can put it in hot or cold water. It's great for making quickly on the trail in your little cold soak cup. And that's what I take for a whole week of backpacking. So this is what I have put together and I keep it for every day of my trip. So how I pack this, I have this little roll top stuff sack here. And then I'll just put all the food in this Mission Organic tortilla bags. I use these tortillas at home. So I just pre-pack one day of food into this bag. All my supplements, everything else, that all fits in here. And then I'll keep this with just one single day of food at the top of my pack for easy access. The rest of the food just goes in the bottom of my pack in a stuff sack and then I just store it in there. And every day after I'm done on the trail, I replenish this pack for the next day of hiking. So then I don't only have my food for the day, but the rest of the heavy foods at the bottom of my pack near the center of my back. So it's really easy to move around and stay agile on the trail. Leave me a comment below with a question you may have had. I'll be answering them in future Q and A sessions. Also leaving me a like or hitting the subscribe button to follow my channel is a huge help. I have a 10 day free trial, which gives you unlimited access to all of the courses that I have that teach every single skill set about landscape and outdoor photography. These are skills that I've tuned, honed, and designed over the last 10 years as a full-time wilderness photographer. So if you'd like to get free access, test out all the courses, learn composition, learn camera technique, photo editing, organization, everything else that goes into the complete creation of wilderness and landscape photography images, check out the link below this video, get signed up, no strings attached, no credit card required. I just want to give you guys access to understand everything that I know about landscape and outdoor photography.